I'm just warming up my dog, getting her enthusiastic about doing some work. In the middle of the day, I think she's been sleeping all morning. Okay, you want it? You want it? You want it? You get it. And I don't want to make her sit and stay. I just want to make this a game that's interesting for her. So we, we just kind of move into it from doing some spins and things. I'm using cheese because dogs can see cheese quite well, it's yellow. Find that? Wiggle. And I'm just going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lure her around. No, 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 no. And throw it away. Now, of course, when I started, I had to do more kind of robust luring, but. And you see that I'm throwing it, the, the treat away from me. We don't want the dogs to be having to check in with you after each obstacle. We want them to have confidence to be moving forward by virtue of your body language and not checking in and turning around. So now we'll do it the other side. You can see she's done this once or twice before. I use a word when I'm about to reward to let her know that it's coming. Oopsie. It's the problem of using the lure. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want her to actually be a bit tighter than that to, and not to be treat. Whoops. This side again. No, 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 no. Treat. And uh, don't I always be working with treats, so we can also do the same thing with the toy. I use a bit of both with her. She's she she she, she gets into toys a bit, but So that's just the basics. So you can just start to increase distance once they're confident doing it. And you can, so you can see I'm using a stirring the pot motion with her. No, no, no. And I can get further away. Whoops, I confused it by moving back. No, no, no. Those are a bit wide. Mary, it's a good thing. Hey, we'll start without the toy because I think the toy is just. Toys distracting her a little bit. Hey, yeah, yeah. No, 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 so you can see she, she enjoys this game a lot. It's a fun little game. And we can do it indoors. So it's a little project I had did last winter with her doing, doing lots of cone work. And uh, there's lots of cone exercises you can do once you've got these basics. All right. Get it. All right. So now we'll go from get it. Get it. Yeah, catch it, please. Good girl. Right. Now we'll go from anti-clockwise to clockwise. It can be good for the handler to have a toy in your hand because then you have that idea of um, you bring your hands together. So come on, come on, the other side. And oh, the other thing to notice is I'm I I don't cross my body with my hand in, in this starting point at least. I use the hand that I'm working with. So the dog's on this side, so I'm working with this side. The dog's on this side, yeah, side, side, come on, hey, yeah, come on, come on, side, side, come on, come on, that's it, good girl. So I use this hand, the side that I'm working with. Oh, no, 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 no,
and I'll just change the toy into my cross hand. No, 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 no,